the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Guys, today is my birthday, yeah! 
But I gotta give God his own before I take my own. God first, God first, seek keep first the kingdom of God. Today is my birthday and I'm excited, excited, excited that I've seen another day, another year, another week. Oh my God, who am I? Ordinary does, but God is so faithful. Who am I, oh God, for you to be mindful to let me see another year? So to God be the glory, we bless your holy name. I worship you, King of kings and Lord of lords. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Ah, thousands and millions of times, I will say thank you. I worship you. I worship your many potent. I worship your many science. I worship your many great. You are king of kings and lord of you. are the creator of heaven and earth. Just a word. Everything in the world was created because you are God. I bless your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, you are welcome to today. Bible study, we bless the holy name of God. Worship you, O King of Kings. We bless your holy name for this Bible study today. We thank you because only you we come to every Tuesday to dig deep into your word because your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. God, we thank you for another brand new day. Thank you for making me see another day. Thank you for today's my birthday and I'm excited, double excited. God, I bless your holy name. For letting me to see another day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, glory. I honor be to your name. I worship you. We give God the glory for his word to be praised. I wouldn't have been alive. You would have decided to say, oh, forget about her. But God, who am I? Ordinary dust for you to think about me and see, keep me alive. I'm excited. I'm excited about God. I got to give you yours first before I can go take anything for myself. Thank you, God. We are so grateful everyone online you are welcome god bless you my husband you're welcome everyone on the social media you are welcome and today we're just going to go straight to the bible study we're digging deep into the bible praise god guess what we have come from genesis to joshua and next tuesday you're going to see me we're going to judge it so we are moving we are moving like train amen father we bless your holy name we thank you glory and honor be to your name because years years ago around this time my mother was in labor Hey, 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 would have been dead, oh God, in her stomach, would have been dead after I was born, after one year, after one day, after one week, after one month, then after years, but God, I'm still here today, not because I'm too good, but because of your mercy, because you are mighty, because you are great, because you are a good God, and I'm so grateful, we've come today to say thank you, and as I open my mouth, Father, to teach us this Bible, please do not let us sign in the way we sign out. Let us go out with something we can learn in your word because no page and no line of your word is useless. Everything this word is given to us for our knowledge, for our learning, for our life. It's a life application. Help us apply it in our life, oh God, in Jesus' name. Cover our family and everywhere online, even my own family with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. As we are here celebrating my birthday, celebration will not end in the Divine of Christ Nation Church for all our family and all non non Church of Christ will continue to celebrate. Amen. And my topic today will be the covenant renewed at Shechem. The covenant renew at Shechem. And we are in Joshua chapter 24 verse 15. That's what we're going to chapter 24 verse 1 through uh, the end. But now we're going to read chapter 24 verse 15 for a start. But if, if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself this day whom you will serve, whether the God's your forefathers served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. As for me and my house, I will, will serve the Lord. I, th I think that is what I'm going to use as my topic. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. We are going to serve the Lord all the days of our life because I cannot do anything without Him. Amen. Now, let's start. The people, of, uh, the people had decided whether they will obey the Lord who had proven 
as trustworthy, uh, proving his trustworthiness, or obey the local gods, which is the small god, I call them small god, and I call my god big G, and I call the other one small G, so I'm going to differentiate with the small G and big G, so that you understand. So, the people had to make a decision, like you and, my, and my, myself, you all over the world, you got to make a decision, are you going to, 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 to obey the God, the King of Kings, the creator of heaven and earth, the one that created you, the one that woke you up this morning, or are you going to obey the ones that the small gods the the, the small g the, the stones and the, and the wood and whatever you you worship well i don't know who are you going to worship the lord who are proving his trustworthiness in your life or obey the local gods which were only man-made idols any small g is man-made idols it is easy to slip into a quiet revelation going about life in your own way when things are not working well. It is so easy to just move around and say, you know, I'm not happy, I want to do this. Go in your life in your own way when God is not the center of your life, when God is not the author or finisher of your life. It is so easy to slip into a quiet revelation, uh, rebelling, uh, going about life in your own way. But the time comes when you have to Choose who or what will control you, what will control your life, what will control your, your, your heart, what will control your home, what will control your family. There comes a time in a man's life, there comes a time in a woman's life, there comes a time in a human being's life. You choose a time to, 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 to know who is going to control you, who is going to control your heart, who is going to control your life. The choice is yours. Nobody can force anybody to do it. Because like I always say, you can take a horse to the river, but you can't force him to drink water. So uh, like now I'm doing my part. It's left for you to, to listen, and it's left for you after listening to be the hearer and the doer of the word. You can be a hearer, but not a doer. So in this position, in this uh, pericope here, we're talking about the hearer and the doer of your word. So it, it is you to make that choice to be the hearer and the doer of the word. And who do you obey? Are you going to obey yourself? Are you going to obey the small gods? Are you going to obey the big G, the big God, the God that control, that control your life, the God that created you? The choice is yours, my brothers and sisters. Will it be God, your own limited personality, or another imperfect substitute that you want to control your life i don't think so once you have chosen to be controlled by god's spirit reform your your choice every day renew your choice every day re, re, revisit your choice every day because a lot of time yes we want to follow god yes we want to obey god yes we know that the truth that's the truth that's the only truth that's the only thing that keeps us alive but then Sometimes we can't keep it. Sometimes it's so hard to keep it. So when you believe that once you have chosen to be controlled by God's Spirit, reaffirm, reaffirm it to yourself, reaffirm that choice every day to yourself. Because at this place you understand that without God, you can do absolutely nothing. What did God say in the book of John? Without Jesus, we can do absolutely nothing. Joshua final speech. Joshua is one man of God that follow God from A to Z. And now his final speech is saying, my brothers and sisters, I brought you guys to a place where it's a no-go area no more. There's no outlet we can go. I'm done with you guys. Enough is enough. I'm, it is, we're going to end here. But right now, choose who you're going to serve. Choose the God you are going to serve. Are you going to serve the God of the people you are living with, which is the small gods, man-made God? Oh, are you going to serve the gods that are the Amorites of God? Or are you going to serve the God Almighty? Who brought you out of the land of Egypt? Who brought you out of your everything you are going through? For me, I don't know about you, but I know God that brought me a mighty, mighty long way. Because I know of my mates that were not born. They were still born. They were pregnant, but they were still born. Even after they were born, they stay one day, they die. Two days, they die. One year, three. I know of my classmates in, uh, in primary three. They still didn't make it. Not because I'm too good, but I am so grateful today. Because I'm just saying, if I can depend on God, even when that thing wants to kill me, and God has said, you're going to leave, God will stay and said, go behind me. Get out of my side. Let me take care of my daughter. And so shall it be for all of you online. So Joshua called all Israelites to Shechem to hear his final words. 
That is what everybody, grace of God, you follow God and pray to God that even before you die as a parent, you'll be able to have a final word to your children, especially the obedient ones. So we, you, you, they talk about, I mean, it's another way to say your will. But actually, it's not other your will. Find out what your children, it's not just will of money, it might be will of wisdom, it might be will of do this, do that, and by the time they notice you're dead, even if the person is acting like a fool, they're not acting right, they will understand because they're like, ah, this is the first time I will see this woman, this is the first time I will see this man. So Joshua now, call all Israelites, all his children to Shechem, because he's the one leading them all this time, to hear his final words. As a parent, as human beings, it is so, so important when you hear your final words of your parents before they go. He challenged the people to make a conscious choice, not just a choice, a conscious choice, a heart choice, a choice that comes from the heart of heart to always serve God. Soon afterward, Joshua died and was buried in his hometown. Tabitha Sarah, in taking a definite stand for the Lord, Joshua again display his spiritual leadership like i was saying joshua is one leader that was so spiritual and keep the word of god and obey god you are welcome basi god bless you as you come in he is the one that obey god so my brothers and sisters regardless of what others decided regardless of what others decided joshua again display his uh, spiritual leadership regardless of what other people uh, decided joshua had made a commitment to god and you, you all over the world are listening to, at the sound of my voice. I pray that you make a commitment. You make a commitment to God. And he was willing to set the example living by, the, the, by that decision. Wanting is to say something, another thing is to do it. Wanting is to command someone to do something, another thing is to do it. Wanting is to, keep, to say, oh, let's, let's uh, keep these rules and regulations. But do you keep the rules and regulations? Or do you just keep do it and then you don't keep it and somebody like okay you put the law you are the Lord that put the law you are the law breaker oh what a pity may that not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ the way we live shows others the strength of our commitment serving God amen somebody rewind doc the way we live my brothers and sisters the way you live because I like to personalize it until you personalize stuff you don't know how it will affect you the way you 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 live the way I live shows others the strength of our of my commitment of your commitment to serving God Joshua in chapter two, uh, chapter 24, Joshua 16 through 18 and 21. Let's read that. You know, today's Bible study, so the Bible have to be laid up there. Then the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord to serve other gods. It was the Lord our God himself who brought us and our father up out of Egypt from, the, from that land of slavery, like I just said, and performed those great signs before our eyes. He protected us on our entire journey and among all the nations through which we traveled. And the Lord, uh, verse 18, and uh, the Lord drove out before us all the nations, including Amorites who live in the land. We too will serve the Lord because he is our God. Joshua said to the people, You are not able to serve the Lord. He is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your rebellion and your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, He will turn and bring disaster on you and make an end of you after He has been good to you. Verse, chapter, verse 21. But the people said to Joshua, No, we will serve the Lord. Then 22, Joshua said, You are witness against yourself that you have chosen to serve the Lord. Yes, we are witness, they reply. Now then, said Joshua, throw away the foreign gods that are among you and yield your heart to the Lord, the God of Israel. And the people said to Joshua, We will serve the Lord our God and obey him. Amen, somebody. That is just what it is this verse of the bible chapter 24 16 17 18 through 22 have said it all joshua told them he said all the people boldly claim that the, that they will never forsake the lord but they did not keep that promise 
They keep on saying that, but they never keep that promise. Very soon, God will charge them with breaking their contract with him. Talk is cheap. Oh yeah. Talk is cheap. It is easy to say, we will follow God, we will follow you, we will do this, we will do that. But it is much, much more important to live like it, to live by it. We want to live like Christ, like life. We want to follow Christ. We want to be like Christ. But it's so easy to say, talk, talk is cheap. Yet, the nation followed God through Joshua's lifetime. They did a great tribute to Joshua's faith in God and powerful leadership. But guess what? Joshua told the Israelites to throw away their foreign gods or idols. To follow God requires destroying whatever gets in the way. Hallelujah, somebody. Say that again, Rev. To follow God requires destroying, deleting, removing, moving whatever gets in the way of our worshiping Him. We have our own forms of idol greeds. I do. Greed is one of them. Wrong priorities, jealousies, prejudice that get in the way of our worshipping God. God is not satisfied if we are mainly heeding these idols. We must completely remove them from our lives, my brothers and sisters. Let's go to 24 through 26. On that day, Joshua made a covenant for the people, and there at the Shechem, he drew up for them decrees and laws and Joshua recorded these things in the book of law of God then he took large stone and set it up there on the oak near the holy place of the Lord see he said to all the people this stone will be a witness against us it has heard all the words the Lord has said to us it will be a witness against you if you are untrue to your God. The covenant between Israel and God was that the people will worship and obey Lord alone. Obey God alone. God, G-O-D, the big G, the only God, the creator of heaven and head. And we don't have two gods, we have one. That's why it's monotonous. It's a one God. Their purpose was become what to become holy nation like God said, that will influence the rest of the world, of, or, or, the world that God has created. But the conquest of Canaan was, meant, meant, was a means to achieve these purposes, but Israel became preoccupied with the land and lost sight of Lord God. Even we human beings are so ungrateful, that's what we do. You, somebody will do something for you today, you just back in person like you didn't do. We're so ungrateful. That's why God called them ungrateful generation. Stiff neckers. They promised Joshua, they said, even Joshua had to bring a stone and put say, this stone heard us when we're talking about this and this stone is a witness between all of us. But guess what? They did not, the conquest of the Canaan land, they did not keep to the promise. They did not keep to the promise. Because they were preoccupied, they were so busy, in, I call it busy in this, busy, busy doing absolutely nothing in this busy world. Busy doing absolutely nothing in this sinful world. They were preoccupied and busy with the land and lost the sight of God. The same can happen to, to uh, happen in our lives, happen in your lives, my brothers and sisters. We can spend so much time on the midst that we forgot the end to glorify God. A lot of us, a lot of us, our God is, uh, is our God is our phone. Uh huh. Our God is our computer. I know that's right. And I want to say something to you today. Well, welcome, Ike. I want to say something to you today. If you go wake up in the uh, 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 wake up, if you just turn around in your bed, and the first thing you are grabbing is your phone, something is wrong, my brothers and sisters. Something is wrong. Or you wake up, the first thing you are grabbing is your phone. And the first place you are going is Facebook, 
Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp, every social media. My brothers and sisters, you are just like the Israelites of those days. Something is wrong. Because the same can happen in our life. It can happen in your life. It can happen in my life. We can spend so much time on the means. So much time on the means that is not the means that is keeping our keeping us alive. On the means that will put us in trouble. On the means that cannot wake us up when we're dead. On the means that cannot do nothing absolutely for us. We can. And hold on and listen to this. The same can happen in our life. We can spend so much time on the means that we forgot the end to glorify the Lord. Churches may, be, may make this mistake as well. Women beings can make this mistake. Churches can make this mistake. Group of people can make this mistake. Community can make Homes can make this mistake. Husband and wife can make this mistake. Families can make this mistake. For example, the congregation may pour all of their energy into a new facility or building mansion for church. Building mansion. Only to become self satisfied self satisfied into a new facility only to become self satisfied or fearful of letting certain groups use it so what's the need of putting all those energy in it if this happens they are focused on the building and lost the sight of the owner of the building somebody shout hallelujah say that again Rev. if this happened they have focused on the building and lost the sight of its purpose to bring others to god to bring glory to god remember when one person repent the angel of the lord and god is happy so if you are building a facility you forget the evangelism you forget to go bring that person in your corner of your street you forget to don't feed them and give them water you forget to, forget to go like i preach on sunday in umutu branch and uh, i'm a u.s branch and i said love love when you love you will know how to share and love is a part of evangelism that is a teaching of another day love is a part of evangelism because if you are a church member like i was telling them if nobody come, one person did not come to church Take two people, go and see what is going on with them. By the time you start doing this, the person says, Ah, the virtues of Christ church people, they always check on me. He will tell his friends, a friend will tell his friend, a friend will tell, before you know it, they'll say the love in that church is amazing. I wouldn't come to church, they came to check on me. And they will start coming to your church, my brothers and sisters. You don't need to do much. When you show love, love is additive. It's a good additive. It's a good love is a, a, a um that's the word I'm looking for. What what is it's like an infection? Yeah, it will, it will, it's like a, a sickness. It's like a disease, but a good disease because if you have it, you get, if you have it, it will draw people to you and it will infect them and they will go again and draw that people. It's like a mag. Yeah, good good word. It's a magnet. Love is a magnet. When you love, people will see and they will come closer to you and magnet to you. So my brothers and sisters, when you are building church, church can do that. When they're building the church, they forgot. The purpose of that building, they lost, they lost sight of the purpose of that building that uh, to bring others to God. Chapter 24, verse 29 through 31, buried in the promised land. Then Joshua sent the people away, each to his own heritancy. After these things, Joshua, son of Nam, the servant of the Lord, died at the age of 110. Hallelujah, somebody, I will be... I will be more years than Joshua in the name of Jesus. And all of you online, you'll be more years. We're going to obey the Lord and be more years and more spiritual leaders in the name of Jesus. And they buried him in the land of his inheritance at Tamasera in the hill country of Ephraim, not of Mount Gashia. Israel served the Lord throughout the lifetime of Joshua and of the elders. Who had lived him, who had experienced everything the Lord had done for Israel. Amen. Joshua was a great leader. Israel, with all their sin, they served the Lord. Look at the Bible said they served the Lord throughout the time of Joshua. The book of Joshua opens with a new leader being headed a seemingly impossible task to lead nation in taking over the land of Canaan. That was what the book of Joshua was open to. Very difficult work. Being handed a seemingly impossible tax. One person governing a whole world. Millions of people. By following God closely, Joshua did this work like as if it's nothing. 
whatever that's difficult for you, whatever you are, however you are living this life, and God is not in the center of your life, life is difficult. But in the midst of it, even when it's difficult and God is with you, God knows how to take care of business. But I'm a living testimony on that. By following God closely, Joshua lead the people through military victories, faithful spiritual obedience. Say that again, military victory, that means they fought war upon war upon war and they were winning. Because you will go to God, what do you want us to do? God said, make a right, make a left, take your hands off, stand. Or whatever God told Joshua to do, Joshua did. And Joshua win a lot of ministry victories. Spiritual, faithful spiritual obedience. In 2416, we read that the people were sure they would never, ever forsake the Lord. We are sure they will never forsake Almighty God. We are sure they will not forsake the God that brought them out of the land of Egypt. And, me, and the God that, uh, that do a lot of miracles. The response of the whole nation during these many years is a tribute both to Joshua leadership, Joshua spiritual leadership, Joshua obedient leadership, Joshua listening here to God leadership, Joshua keeping the commandments of God leadership, Joshua keeping the status of God leadership, Joshua taking the word of God as a lamp unto his feet and a light unto his path leadership and I can go on and on and on. Joshua was a leader that God was proud of. And to the God he fearfully, he faithfully served, Joshua did not play with God at all. All his regime, these thief makers, these people that God of got offended with them because they were always so, they were so mean to Moses. Any small thing they don't complain. Any small thing, but in, during the time of Joshua, guess what? That is why it's so amazing. When you're training your parents, your children, train them. Do your part. Like I always tell my children, I'm not going to be like Ella and Ella. No, 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 no. I will do my part and do my, so that I won't die like Ella. Continue to do your part because you know what Joshua did. That's I'm teaching glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit just reminded me that all the mistakes that Moses made, all the anger that these stiff neckers, these wicked people that Joshua was leading, uh, Moses was leading. Joshua was the, you know, Joshua was the uh, uh, personal assistant to Moses. Joshua, as a man, as a son, was looking at his father Moses, as his, as a head Moses, looking at him, and the mistake that Joshua uh, Moses was making, Joshua was like saying, "I will never make that." You know, so that is what it is like me. There are some mistakes I see, even through my parents. I say, I will never be like my mother on that. God forbid. I say, God, no. God, no. I'm not going to be like my mother on that. I'm not going to be like my father. Because we are, they are there for our example. And whatever they do wrong, we correct. And that's what the word of God is for us. To learn from the mistakes of our forefathers and our foremothers. And Joshua was very good an example. That's what the Holy Spirit says to teach you guys today. Joshua was an example of a good son. A good son to Moses, a good son to God. And he was learning. Every time Moses falls, Joshua said, I will not fall there. Every time these people make Joshua get, uh, Moses get angry, God says, speak to the stone. Joshua, uh, Moses was um, uh, uh, very angry and he hit the stone three times. Moses, Joshua said, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because that's why Joshua, Moses did not go to the land, promised land. I'm going to get to the promised land. I'm going to keep the commandment. I'm going to obey my God. I'm going to be a leader, spiritual leader, obedient leader, the leader that listened to my father. And that's what we parents should do. Keep on training your children. One of them, one of them, one of them is listening. Keep on training your children. Don't get tired. Don't get weak. Say, oh, my child isn't. No, 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 no. Go and read the book of uh, Samuel. Eli was a great man of God. In fact, Eli was the one that, tra that trained Samuel. But how did Eli die? Eli did not parent right. Eli parenting disgust and offend God. And then God said, Eli, because you didn't parent your children well, come on, go, 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 you got to die. If not, Eli wasn't a bad person. So I'm using this opportunity to tell every parent, do your part. Moses was doing his part. Joshua was copying Moses. Joshua was copying Moses. And today, all the mistakes that Moses made, Joshua never made it. And look at what the Bible says. So Joshua was a leader throughout his time. The Israelites keep the commandment of God. What an amazing characteristic, amazing tribute. 
amazing leg leg uh, the, the, the legacy that Joshua keep kept for all of us, kept for all all his children and all of us. So keep on training your children. Don't get that. Even if they're not listening, keep on telling them the right thing. When they are grown men, I can tell my children, uh, as far as I'm concerned, all of you are my babies. Whether you are grown men, married with your children, you do anything to your wife and I know it's wrong, I will tell you. So that God will not say, oh, I will die like hell. I no, I must tell them this is wrong. This is right. Go this way. If they don't go it, you have done your part. And that is what Moses did. That is what God did. God gave instruction and Joshua followed the instruction. Joshua and Elika had died, but not before laying before the people. Fundamentals of what it means to have faith in God. We are to fear and serve the Lord, my brothers and sisters. You are to fear. We are to fear and serve the Lord all alone. Serve God alone, like chapter 24, verse 25 said. This is based on the choice. It's a choice you should make today. Please serve God alone. He said, I'm about to die. What God are you going to serve? The small God, the big God, the creator of heaven and heaven, the one that kept you, or are you going to serve the God that brought you out of the land of Egypt? He said, because as for me and my house, and I stand in the rock of earth, I stand in the whole world proclaim, I say to my children, as for me and my house, I will serve the Lord all the days of my life, and his praises will continue to be my, and that's exactly what Joshua did. This is based on choice to obey him instead of following other gods. It's not just to tell you, say it, Actions speak louder than word, be the hearer and the doer of the word of God. We are incapable, however, of properly worshipping him because of our rebellion and sin. We sin too much with our heart, with our mind, with our mouth. We are incapable, but, but by choosing God as our Lord, we enter into covenant with him. Hallelujah, somebody. That is why our title was the covenant renewer at Shechem. By choosing God, we, we enter a new enter a covenant with him, whereby the promise is not only to forgive and love us, but also to enable us by his spirit to do his work here on earth. Here on earth. The, uh, you know, yeah, yesterday I was talking to someone. I said, today is my birthday. He's like, oh yeah, so you're not going to do Bible study. I said, no, 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 no. I sure will do Bible study. Give to God what belongs to God. And to joy what belongs to joy. I got to do my God, God's work. And once I, once I give all to God, I tell you my brothers and sisters, every other thing I don't even do nothing because he takes care of business. Takes care of business to the extent of the little things of breed. The little thing of go who this way, the little thing of sin, and so let's put God first and do His part. He's, he He always does His own part. The covenant requires, but also to enable us to uh, enable us by His Spirit to do His work here on earth. The Spirit of God will help us to do, like I was saying, everything we do, talking, moving, even to the extent of bathing. God we do. Comb your hair is God. Without God, you can't do all these things. You have to remember all these things. They are not small. They are big days. Because some people in the hospital today cannot do those stuff. Even going to use the bathroom. Some people are using pipe and they go to hospital. You appreciate God. You appreciate what I'm saying today. So don't take anything for granted when you leave this Bible study. I tell people. It's not every time you come to the presence of a, man, a woman of God, a man of God, or a church, rather, then you go, yeah, 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 come for church. Sometimes, most of the times, a lot of times, you got to leave the church. You got to leave a woman of God. You got to leave a man of God sorrowful, remorsely, looking forward to repentance, thinking, oh, what am I doing wrong? Like the Reverend is saying, how can I renew my covenant from today? Because it's not too late, baby. It's not too late. It's not too late. As long as Jesus tarry, it's not too late. So let us learn how to renew our covenant. The covenant requires us to renounce the principles and practice of culture around us that are hostile to God's plan. Amen. Somebody rewind, rewind, rewind again, doctor. The, this covenant I'm talking about requires us to renounce the principles. Practice of culture around us that are hostile to God's plan. You know, the world has become so sinful. A lot of things are happening. So those things, you know, it's not of God. It's not in the word of God. It makes God so upset. He offend, he, he makes God off, uh, it makes you offend God. Don't do it. This is not to be done alone. You can do it alone, my brothers and sisters. But by binding ourselves together with others, 
who have faith in God and, and binding ourselves to God himself, God will direct us. You can check that in Deuteronomy 30, 15, 20. For a similar message, for you to understand that Joshua, the book of Joshua, loved the book of Joshua. Inside the book of Joshua, they talked about the meaning, the names and the meaning, the, the names of God. The names of God and the meaning of it, of it refers to uh, Elohi, meaning God refers to God's power and mighty. God is our Elohi. And God will be Elohi in your life, in your family, in your heart, in your problem, everything you're going in the name of Jesus. He is the only supreme and true God. Hallelujah, somebody. And you can see that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, Numbers 23, 19, and Psalm 91. Another name of God that I love so was so much is Yahweh. The Lord, the proper name of the divine person, and that you can see in Genesis chapter 2, 2 verse 4, Exodus 3. Another name of God is Elohim, God most high, he's above all gods, nothing in life is more sacred than God. And you can see that name in Genesis 14, 17, 20, Numbers 24, 16, uh, then Psalm 7, 17, and uh, Isaiah 14, 13. Another name of God is Eroi, God who sees. Elohim, 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 God who sees. God oversees all creation and the affairs of all people. Whether you like it or not, you are sinful, you are righteous, you are rightful. God still shine his sun and moon upon you, so appreciate him and repent and renew your covenant. El Shaddai, God Almighty, God is all powerful. You can see that in Genesis 17, 1, Psalm 91, 1. Yeah, Yahweh, uh, uh, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. God will provide our real needs in the name of Jesus. You can see that in Genesis 22, 13, 14. Jehovah Nisi, yeah, you, uh, you call it Yahweh Nisi, but we we'll call it Jehovah Nisi too. The Lord is my banner. Hallelujah, I love that. We should remember God for helping uh, for helping us. Anytime we go through God, sometimes you come through. Uh, you're driving. If you're a driver, there is some accident that you got to miss. Like somebody just jumped in front of me the other day. I knew God just put his banner. I said, that's my daughter. It can't happen. Hallelujah, somebody. I know I didn't mind that break. I know the angel of the Lord. I would have been in the hospital now because that lady just go from the first lane, second lane, and jump in front of me. I got to stop and say, are you okay? Guess what she said. You know people go through. Really? People go through, then you're going to kill me for what you're going through? God punish the devil and the pit of hell. And you can see that in Exodus, uh, Exodus chapter 17, 15. God of Adonai, Lord. Those are names of God, my brothers and sisters. If you know this name of God, it's enough to even praise and worship him. God alone is the head over all. Over you, over your family, over your marriage, over your husband, over your children. I don't care what anybody do. God is over, but it can be over because God is a gentleman. The Spirit of God is gentleman. Jesus is a gentleman. It can be over when you allow Him. He doesn't force Himself to you. Nah, nah, nah. He's always like this. That's why, you see, the spreading of the God of Christ and the, and, the, and the cross of Calvary. That's why it's like that. It would have been like this. But it was like that because He said, Come unto me, my child. Repent. Remorse. Remorsefully and repent and come to me. So it's our Adonai, Jehovah Adonai, God alone is the head over all. Deuteronomy 6, you can see that. God is the Elohim, the Israel, Lord God of Israel. He is the God of King of Kings, the God of Nations. And you can see that in Judges 5, 3 and Psalm 95, 5. And is Isaiah 17 and uh, he's God of Shalom. I call him the King of Kings, Prince of Peace, Shalom, Peace. Anytime you're looking for peace in your family, in your home, in anything, even your job, call up that name, Shalom. Shalom, the God of peace. He will showcase himself right there, the Lord of peace. God gives us peace, so we need not fear. When you have the peace of God, you don't fear about anything. Don't fear nobody. Judges 6, 27, 24 will tell you about that. And, and on and on, the God of Sabbath, I, I call the God of Sabbath, Jehovah Sabbath. It's Jehovah Israel, it's Jehovah Sabbath, Lord of hosts. Refers to armies, but also to all the heavenly powers. God is our savior and protector. First Samuel 1 Samuel 1.3 and Isaiah 6.1.3. 1, 
the God of Elohim, the everlasting God, God is eternal, he will never die at all. Is uh, Isaiah 40, 28, 31. God, Jehovah, trust again. The Lord is our righteousness. God is our standard and is our righteousness. God is the standard we'll look at. That is why I always pray that God will give us strength to be Christ-like. He alone can make us righteous. Jeremiah 23, 6 and 33, 16. God of Shama, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shama, like that name, the Lord is there. It's always present. How many present? How many signs? Oh, God is always present. He was always present. Ezekiel 48, 35. God Almighty is the ancient of days. Oh, he's the ultimate authority. He will one day judge all nations. My brothers and sisters, we can go on and on on this, on this uh, Joshua, uh, the book of Joshua. The setting of the book of Joshua told to show that God's judgment against sin is certain and his forgiveness of sin, restoration to relationship are just as certain for those who repent. And the author of this is possibly Samuel, setting the land of Canaan, later called Israel. God had helped the Israelites conquer Canaan, which had been inhabited by a host of wicked nations, but they were in danger of losing this promised land because they compromised their conviction and disobeyed God. And the key verses in this book of Joshua, you can understand, in those days Israel had no king. Everyone did as he saw fit. Key people are uh, Otnan, Edon, Deborah, Gideon, Amalekites, and Jephthah. So, you, if you check so much the book of Joshua, you will know that it's a lot we have to learn. My brothers and sisters, you know, after all said and done, we always have three powerful prayers. We finish this Bible study today, but I will not finish this Bible study until this three powerful prayer that we pray. And those prayer comes in the same thing I've taught today. God Almighty, help me, God, to live a spiritual life that my legacy will not die. In the name of Jesus, come on, pray that prayer. Father, help me to live a spiritual life, to keep this legacy of a spiritual life. Even after you have died, look at what is going on with Joshua. After he might have died, they still say Joshua is a spiritual man. Father, make me a spiritual man. Make me a spiritual woman. Help me to be a spiritual a spiritual woman, a spiritual man, a spiritual husband, a spiritual wife, a spiritual father and mother. Make my home a spiritual place so that I can live in this sinful world and still keep a legacy that your, your word is for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, King of Kings, Give me power to be to be to live a spiritual life. It's not easy though to live a spiritual life in a, in a godly life, a godly word, on an uh, holy word. It's not easy. But God, on your name, in your name, in your name, in your son's name, give me power to risk to live spiritually. Actually, that's the conclusion of the prayer. Father, give me power to live spiritually in the name of Jesus. Give me power to live spiritually in the name of Jesus. Give my children power to live spiritually. In the name of Jesus, give my home power to live spiritually. In the name of Jesus, give my husband power to live spiritually. In the name of Jesus, give my 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 wife power to live spiritually. In the name of Jesus, give me power. In the name of Jesus, to live spiritually. All the soldiers of Christ Nation Church, oh Father, give us power to live spiritually. In the name of Jesus, Kalabo Siki Labo Shindia, where we live spiritually, oh God, we will obey Your word. We will obey Your status, we will be that leader of spirituality in the name of Jesus. We will live spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus. And number two prayer, let us pray. Say, Father, help me to be a faithful person, a faithful leader, a faithful mother, a faithful father, a faithful husband, a faithful wife, a faithful children. Father, help us for my home to be faithful in the name of Jesus. 
Kala poti li paladia. He bobo send the laka si kala boshindia. Le kekeke. Le bala boshindia. Father help us. Everyone online. Non members and members of the Vangelists of Christ. All over the world. Rumutu branch. US branch. Father help us to be faithful to you. Faithful to your word. To live a life. To have that faithfulness in us to serve you in the name of Jesus. My brothers and sisters. Here comes the third prayer and the final prayer the third prayer and the final prayer the bible said they renewed their covenant hey God love renew. That word re, R E. It can be renew, uh, transform, redefine. Oh, let's go, let's go. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. The King of glory, the God of divine Jesus of Christ Nation Church, the God that placed a church in the midst of pandemic, the God that just brought the church from nowhere and said, Go set up a church in Umutu, go set up a church in the US, go set up a church that can serve the world online. That God we're calling upon his name today. Say, God Almighty, help me to renew my covenant with you in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, help everyone online to renew our covenant. In the name of Jesus, help us to renew our covenant to serve you diligently, to serve you faithfully, to serve you and obey your word. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to serve you, help us to live diligently. Father, help us to renew our covenant. Help my children to renew their covenant in the sinful world where we are, where we are so sinful and fit to rag. Help me, oh God, to renew my covenant. Help my children to renew my, their covenant. Help my husband to renew their covenant. Help my children to renew their covenant. Help everybody online, oh God, to renew our covenant. All the vestiges of Christ Nation Church here and not here. Father, help us to renew our covenant. In the name of Jesus, to live diligently, to serve you diligently, faithfully, and obey your word. Father, personally, I'm praying this prayer for myself. Today be my birthday, Father. It's not about the rice. It's not about the chicken. It's not about the cake. It's not about the celebration. Father, you made me to see another day plus one in my year. Help me to renew my covenant. Help me to serve you powerfully. Help me to serve you diligently. Help me to serve you faithfully. Help me to command to keep your commandment. Help me to keep on making the word of God a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Yeah, da, 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 da. It's all right now. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank you, Father. Glory and honor be to your name. After each prayer, I always recap. The first prayer is, God, help me to be a spiritual person, a spiritual leader, a spiritual whatever you are. And number two, God, help me to be faithful. Ah, oh, faithful. The spiritual, faithful, they goes together. When you have those two, like Joshua did, hey, you're gonna. It's like it's like you sleep with God and talk with God and do everything with God. It's amazing. It's amazing, my brothers and sisters. Then I see if it's not enough. The conclusion of the th three is a number. Say, renew, help me to renew my covenant, And my brothers and sister, my brothers and sister, that is the end of our Bible study today. And the book of Joshua. That is the end of everything. End of the book of Joshua. End of the Bible study today. And the beginning of my life again. My birthday. Hey, yeah, yeah. My birthday. And I'm so excited because I've given to God what belongs to God and to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. God first in my life. Without God, where will I be? So I said, whatever it is, you that food, stay right there. Turn off the gas. Come on, let's do the work of God. Then now I can go do my enjoyment and celebrate my birthday and god i just give you all the glory thank you father for this word of god as you open our mouth open my mouth and you feel it thank you for your people that are listening thank you for everyone that making comment thank you for ek thank you for my husband thank you for everyone there even the ones watching and the world's gonna watch again thank you god for technology blessed be the name of king of glory for a great month september where you have great people like us hallelujah somebody and 28th of september thank you father for making me who I am, the giver, the joyful, the, the one that I pat on people's life, to put smile, Father, help me to do more and more and more. Don't let me get tired of doing. Don't let me get wearied of doing good things. Help me to make 
peace with all men if possible in the name of Jesus. Help all of us and cover everybody with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I love you like I said. I love you, but God love you. My name again is Reverend Dr. John Wilingwachuku. Hot in James. And this end of our Bible study. And now, before I go, our Bible study is every Tuesday, 10 a.m. U.S., 3 p.m. Nigeria, and uh, 2 p.m. Europe. And our Sunday service is 11 p.m. online every Sunday, uh, 11 p.m., 11 a.m., sorry, Na America, 4 p.m., uh, 11 a.m. U.S., 4 p.m. Nigeria, and 3 p.m. Uh, uh, Europe. My authentic talk, we're done for now because we're doing, trying to do certain things, so we're done for now. So don't come on authentic talk again on Friday. Only program we have now is Tuesday and Sunday. So I'm, 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 uh, please tell everyone so that they will not be saying, where is authentic talk? So that is it, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I'm still alive today, and I'll see my birthday. Some of my mates did not see their birthday. One day, they did not see their Two months, they did, three months, and I saw some classmates gone, even to two yesterday, but God kept me. Not because I'm too good, but because of his mercy. And God, I'm, I told you I will proclaim you. I will thank you in the mountain Zion. I will thank you in the whole world. God, I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for my birthday. And thank you for giving me the gift that you gave me. My present that you gave me. But I'm so grateful. Thank you, Lord, for everybody. Thank you for celebrating the birthday with me. And I'm so grateful. Mwah, mwah. God bless you all. God bless you all. Vecha og. Vecha og. God bless you. Amen. Bye now. Bye now. Bye now. God bless you all. Amen.